Hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Shirai from UCLA. This is a joint work with Shen Lin, Anka Mehta, and Dennis Hong. Today, we are going to present lazy trajectory optimization that efficiently generates trajectories for high degree of freedom robots in cluttered environments. Overall, we have four contributions that enable robots to generate long horizon trajectories considering constraints. Our LTO can even generate trajectories of 21 DOF record robots under U-shaped obstacles like this video. Now, we are going to describe the motivation of this work. In order to realize the complex motion, trajectory optimization can be used. Given constraints, it can design optimal trajectory while satisfying complex constraints such as dynamics or start and goal constraints. Using trajectory optimization, you can even design dynamic trajectories such as climbing and walking. Then, what makes it difficult for TO, trajectory optimization, to stop? So, the planning time of trajectory optimization can be very long if the time horizon is long or the environment is complex. In this environment, planners need to have a long horizon to generate a globally optimal trajectory resulting in a long planning time. If the time horizon is short, planners can generate a trajectory quickly, but get stuck at local optimum. Hence, we want to figure out how to quickly generate a globally feasible or even optimal trajectory with much decreased planning time. There are a number of works to solve large-scale complex trajectory optimization problems. For example, the user can decouple large-scale trajectory optimization problem into several small-scale problems so that the total planning time could be dramatically decreased. Another approach simplifies the model of the robot so that trajectory optimization can be solved efficiently. The common disadvantage of these approaches is that these approaches can often perform worse compared with the approach solving one large-scale trajectory optimization problem. For example, for the first approach, the body planner can probably find infeasible solutions given the output of step planner for a motion planning problem of multi-decade robots. For the second approach, the change of body height cannot be considered since the dynamics of the robot is modeled as an inverted pendulum. In this work, we combine trajectory optimization with graph search planners to decrease planning time uh, while solving the original trajectory pro uh, optimization problem. In the integrated planner, GSP, graph search planner, is used to find uh, the globally optimal path as a high layer planner. And the TO, trajectory optimization, is used to define the path. Note that the vertex represents the configuration of the robot, such as XYZ position, and H represents the transition trajectory. So, for example, once GSP finds the optimal path in the graph, as shown as blue path, then TO is used to define the path in the graph, as shown as red path. Therefore, as long as the graph has many vertices and edges, the integrated planner efficient, effectively solves large-scale trajectory optimization problem. However, there are several problems with this typical integrated planner. First, uh, for the typical integrated planner, it's usually guaranteed that vertices and edges are known at the beginning of planning. Then after GSP finds a global optimal path, TO is used to refine the trajectory. However, in practice, some vertices and edges cannot exist due to constraints such as obstacles. For example, in this figure, TO cannot refine the red trajectory since uh, there is an obstacle uh, on the edge. Hence, there is no guarantee that the obtained path by GSP is feasible for TO. Instead, you can find the feasible vertices and edges priori by solving TO before GSP. Uh, but this operation uh, can be also time demanding, time consuming. Another problem is that the computation can be still expensive uh, with the integrated planner. The integrated planner solves the TO associated with edge calculation and it just considers the nearby constraints from the edge. It means that depending on the edge, the computation can be very long. In this example, 
the graph search planner finds the optimal trajectory, which is shown as a red trajectory. However, recognizing that the computational complexity of trajectory optimization is exponential to the number of discrete decision variables, the actual computation time with the red trajectory takes more time than the blue trajectory. So sometimes, even though the blue path is longer in terms of the length, the planner wants to choose the blue path since the computation is cheaper. To make decision like this, based on the computation of TO, we need to define the edge cost that considers the computational complexity of trajectory optimization. Thus, we propose LTO, lazy trajectory optimization. Compared with the traditional integrated planner, LTO iteratively solves TO during GSP planning to update the true vertex and edges in graph. To decrease the planning time, we make LTO lazy. Uh, it means that LTO uses TO to investigate vertices and edges in the graph only when GSP intends to expand the vertex and edges, while traditional integrated planner eventually investigates all vertices and edges to find the feasible trajectory. Here, let me briefly explain how it works. Given the initial graph uh, like this, we search vertex with the smallest cost. And in this case, it is shown as pink vertex. Then see uh, if this vertex is obtained by TO to consider the constraints. Because this is our first time to in this investigate this vertex, LTO runs TO to get the true configuration of the robot and update the graph. And so this green circle represents the updated uh, edge, updated configuration in the graph by solving TO. Then let's assume after several iterations, uh, let's assume the current graph is like this. Also assume LTO tries to expand the vertex A which to the configuration was already found by TO. Then LTO uses TO to check if the trajectory is collision free and locally optimal and updates the trajectory if it finds. In this case, uh, TO finds the edge is collision free and we show the edge as green line. Then the LTO finally expands the state A uh, if the associated vertex and edge is already investigated by, by TO, which is shown as black circle. Then the following slides show how LTO finds the path from start to go. So uh, LTO finds the vertex with the smallest cost in the open queue and runs TO since this is the first time for LTO uh, to investigate this vertex. Then uh, again, LTO finds a new vertex with the smallest cost and finds the true vertex by solving trajectory optimization. Then LTO investigates the edge. In this uh, case, due to obstacle, uh, TO could not find the feasible edge. So the edge is removed from the graph and so on. And LTO terminates once it finds the small uh, path which has the smallest cost from the start to go. Eventually LTO finds this trajectory. Again, we would like to emphasize that the key difference is that traditional integrated planner basically solves TO for all edges, which consumes so much time, while LTO solves TO for vertices and edges only when it's necessary. Also, we propose uh, TO aware cost to discuss the difficulty of TO. This edge cost enables LTO to consider the computational complexity of TO. This TO aware cost is defined as the distance between two vertices times the coefficient term. W is user-defined inflated parameter that balances the optimality of the trajectory and the planning time. And this coefficient term can be very large. For example, in this example, uh, since the region associated with that uh, vertex, uh, sorry, that uh, trajectory has more discrete variables, the cost of the trajectory is more expensive than that of the blue trajectory. Uh, thus, by setting the W based on the user specifications, uh, this cost enables LTO to choose the path which prioritizes either the optimality of the path or the planning time. Here, we demonstrate our algorithm for two different motion planning problems. We use mixed integer convex optimization as TO and the solved obstacle avoidance motion planning problems.
For the 2DO free flying robot, we run LTO for this multi obstacle region. The bottom region has many obstacles, meaning many discrete decision variables. We compare LTO with the time, uh, sorry, we compare LTO with the regular TO with long time horizon. And as you can see, LTO generates optimal trajectory with decreased planning time compared with uh, TO with uh, long horizon. The red trajectory is the result uh, of LTO prioritizing time by setting a large W, large W. And it avoids a region with many obstacles uh, to efficiently design the trajectory. As we expect, the larger the inflated factor W is, the less time LTO spends by avoiding expensive edge generation by TO. This table shows the individual time cost in LTO with defined W. In LTO, we have three main sources that takes uh, much computation time. Graph search planning, uh, vertex investigation by TO, and edge investigation by TO. This table shows that uh, by increasing W, LTO spends less time to generate the edge by navigating the robot to the region with fewer discrete variables, resulting in less total planning time. Finally, we show the result of 21 DOF record robots. LTO generates trajectory while avoiding obstacles with much decreased planning time compared with TO. Based on this result, we believe that LTO can be used for high DOF robots like record robots and the cluttered environments like these uh, multi obstacle environments. In conclusion, we formulate LTO to solve long horizon TO with much decreased planning time while considering the difficulty of solving TO and updating the graph structure. We propose a new framework that can solve TO lazily. Also, we have several formal analysis in the paper which shows time and space complexity of LTO as well as the guaranteed suboptimality. Then we verified our algorithm for two different motion planning problems which involve expensive TO computation. Because LTO has small variance of planning time, we think LTO can be used for safety critical applications. In addition, since other trajectory optimization can be also incorporated into LTO, users can easily replace our choice of TO with their choice of TO based on user specifications. So thank you so much for your attention.